You know, it's funny, too. Talked about this on the, the Filthy Tom show yesterday. But a classic example is there is a meme. I don't know if it's a meme or not. I don't think it involves a picture of me. But there's there's that thing on Twitter where people accuse me of being paid by AEW. Okay? Well, Brian didn't like... Brian didn't like Hell in a Cell with The Fiend and Seth Rollins because he's paid to make fun and to bury WWE. And this is a classic example of, you have to be, see, here's the thing. I would think that probably, I'd estimate 80% of the people that accuse me of being paid by AEW are well aware that I'm not paid. And actually, maybe I'm over, uh, maybe I'm giving people too much credit. But I would think, okay, because of my faith in humanity, that 80% of the people that say I'm being paid by AEW are aware that, in fact, I'm not being paid by AEW. But I do believe that there is a percentage of the people that write those words that actually believe that I am paid by AEW. There was even few people that... Somebody had somebody had made a uh, a fake list of like all of the things that AEW paid for. It's like you know cameras, uh, ring canvas, whatever. And then it's like Brian Alvarez, and they had a and like people believe this. That was their evidence. Ooh, but anyway, book. Yeah. So this is like a prime example because you have to be a very dumb person to actually believe that I am being paid. Like, the only possible scenario is I'm being paid by AEW. Like, there's no other possibility. There's, like, it's impossible that I would dislike something in WWE unless I was paid by AEW. That's the only way. Well, that's not To believe true, that Brian. is madness. Wait a second. That's not true at all. A lot of people just believe that because you are a spite filled and you just hate WWE because you're a hateful person. That's the other reason why you do this. And that's why you are. You were such an easy mark to be plucked off by Tony Khan and to be given money because you have this spite towards Hunter. That's why. In why would Vince, I have spite towards success, Hunter? Successful people. Made it in this business bigger than you if you were so smart, Brian Alvarez. Why aren't you booking somewhere? Why didn't you make it to the big time? All you do is you sit and criticize these these titans of Titan Towers. How dare you? And that's why you love AEW so much. You and your Young Bucks and your PWG. Disgusting. Hey, that's listen, I mentioned it yesterday. Say. I mentioned it yesterday. I have never once wanted to fight Vince McMahon. But others have gone public about wanting to do it that work there. But somehow I'm the one getting paid. How come no one said that Seth was getting paid by AEW when he said he wanted to fight Vince over that Hell in a Cell finish? Huh? <laughs> that sounds like somebody being paid by the competition. They wanted to fight Vince McMahon. I have listened to this noise like 300 times in a row, dying laughing. And I may go do that after the show is over. Because this noise that Seth Rollins played sounded exactly like the mummy's voice that they recreated on National Geographic. Scientists were able to mimic Nessie Amun's voice by recreating his mouth and vocal cords with a 3D printer. It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> what? It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if I can do it one more time. <laughs> It allowed them to produce a single sound. Oh! <laughs> the top comment on YouTube, I love when she says, ah! <laughs> if you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.